find the center, vertices, co-vertices, and foci, then sketch the graph. All right, so this is the equation that we are considering. So this is an equation of an ellipse. But you have to remember that there are two equations for an ellipse. So namely, so one of the equations is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Okay? And the other equation is x minus h squared over a um, sorry, over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. And for both of these equations, a is greater than b. Okay, now, um, what's the difference between these two equations? So the difference lies on a, okay? So it depends where, uh, on where a is located. So if a is under the, um, is the denominator of the term where x is, then you have a, an ellipse that is vertically oriented. That means that the major axis is, or, or, or the longer axis is on the x-axis, okay? Um, if your a is under y, then you have a vertically oriented ellipse. So basically, uh, what the graph looks like for this one is, looks like this, like that. And for this one, the graph uh, looks like something like that. Okay, so that's, these are the two um, orientations for an ellipse, and it really depends on where A is. Again, A is the number that is greater, okay? Now, based on, um, based on our um, original equation, we find that this equation follows this equation, right? Because as you can see, uh, the bigger value here is 25, and we said that A is greater than B. Right, so that means that this is your a because this uh, this um, this value is greater than that value. So that means that's your a, and that's your b. Okay, which also means that our ellipse is a vertically oriented ellipse. So that's in fact that's the first information that we can um, get uh, from our from our equation. So we know that um, our ellipse is vertically oriented. Is stretched vertically okay so that's the first information the second information that we can get is the values of a and b right so here our a squared is 25 and that gives us a value for a right a is equal to 5 uh, we also have value for b b squared is 9 and that gives us a value for b equal to 3 now we can also get the value for c because c squared is a squared minus b squared. Now, I want to clarify that this is not the Pythagorean theorem that we all know, right? So this is just a formula for c, to find for c. So to get the value of c, we will just uh, substitute the values for a squared and b squared. So a squared is 25, b squared is 9, and this will give us, what, 16. That's c squared, and of course, that will give us the value for c c is equal to 4. So we now have values for a, b, and c. Now what does this mean? What does these numbers mean? a gives you the vertex or the vertices of your ellipse, b gives you the co-vertices of your ellipse, and c gives you the foci or the foci of your ellipse. Okay, so that's why these numbers are important. Now the third um, number or the third um, value that we want to know is the center okay the center of our ellipse okay so to find the center of our ellipse okay so to find the center we uh, will just use the formula h comma k that's basically the center okay so if you look at our original equation where's our h right remember this is your h and that's your h. So your h is negative 2 because here this is positive, here is negative. So that means if we rewrite this equation, right? So if I may rewrite that to fit to this um, equation right here. So that will be, that will be um, x minus negative 2 squared 
over 9 plus y minus 4 squared over 25 equals 1. So here you can see that h is indeed negative 2. Okay? So h is negative 2 and our k is basically um, 4, right? So that's k, that's k. k is 4. So that's our center. And this is pretty much um, all that we wanted to know because all of these informations, um, all of these information will um, allow us to sketch the graph of the ellipse. Okay, let me share this condition plane. Okay, so, so um, we know that our ellipse is vertically oriented. We're going to go back to that later. Um, now, what does A equal 5 mean? Okay, again, it gives you the vertices, okay? The vertices of um, your, um, your ellipse. But then how do you know where to find a vertex? I mean, um, where, do you, where do you start, right? Where do you start counting, okay? You start counting from the center. And so the first thing that we want to plot in our graph is actually the center of our ellipse. So the center is a negative 2 comma 4. So where is negative 2 comma 4? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the center of our ellipse. Okay, and then the next thing that we want to plot are the vertices. Our vertices are five units away from center. Now, where do you go? Do you go left, right, or you go up, down? Now, this is where this information uh, will be used. Okay, so since our ellipse is vertically oriented, that means we are going to find the vertices five units up and down. Up and down because our ellipse is vertically oriented. Okay, so we're just going to count five units. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's our vertices. Then where are the covertices? Covertices are three units away from the center. And now since we've already plotted our um, our vertices up and down, that means we can only go left, right. Okay, so we're going to count three units left and three units right. And those are our covertices. Now the last thing that we want to plot um, are our foci. Okay, so here C equals four. Now C gives you the foci. So that means the foci are four units away from the center. Now, how do we know if it's up or down? Well, since our ellipse is vertically oriented, our foci will also be to that direction, okay? So that means we're going to go up and down for our foci. So that's four units. So one, one two, three, four. So that's here. One, two, three, four. That's here. Let me use another color. So these are our foci. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to um, connect the dots. We're going to draw our ellipse. So we, I'm going to try to draw the best ellipse I could. Okay. So just trace. And I hope that is an ellipse. Okay. So now we have our ellipse. We've sketched the graph. Now all that's left to do is to um, again identify the coordinates of our center, our vertices, uh, cover disease, and the foci okay now we've already got our center right so um, all we need to do is find the coordinates of our vertices so remember that this one is a vertex so that's v1 this is v2 the coordinates for v1 are so we have negative 2 comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 comma 9 then our v2 would be negative 2 negative 1 okay then our covertices would be so this is cv2 and the coordinates are 1 comma 4 okay then our covertex 1 will be at negative 5 comma 4 okay and then again i'm just going to write the coordinates of our center our center is at negative 2 comma 4 then our foci would be at what our foci would be at um, negative 2 comma 8 
and negative 2 comma 0 so we've already plotted um, our points we've drawn our ellipse and we've identified our coordinates now what if what if we can't easily identify the coordinates of our points now we are lucky for this ellipse that we can easily identify uh, where our points are but what if um, uh, what if say our focus is here for example right we can't we don't know if that's one half or one third so so we have a formula for um, for the vertices covertices and foci okay and the formula are based on the center okay because as with graphing right so how we how we graphed our list basically is we started with center okay so the formula for all these coordinates will also be based from the center okay so let me let me erase this one so i can have real estate I can have a uh, space to write our formula so the formula now we have two ellip, uh, formulas because we have two um, orientations for an ellipse so so for a vertically oriented ellipse okay so vertically oriented just like this one our um, our vertex or our vertices would be um, our vertices would be um, h comma k plus or minus a okay so you will adjust your uh, y coordinate based on a a is what determines the um, the vertices okay so for your covertices your formula for the covertices would be h um plus minus b okay because the covertices are on the x axis basically so h plus minus b comma k and then for our foci or foci the formula would be h comma k plus minus c okay so these are our um coordinates okay now for um for a horizontally oriented ellipse okay a formula would be so for the vertices we'll have h plus minus a comma k for the covertices you have h um, comma k plus or minus b and then for the foci foci you'll have um, h plus minus c comma k so these are our formulas for the coordinates and if we if you like to try okay if you like to try say okay let's find the vertices for this um ellipse using this formula right now we know what h is right let's do that so for the vertices our h is basically negative 2 right so negative 2 our k is positive 4 and then plus or minus a now our a is 5 okay so our a is 5 so that's going to be the coordinates of our vertices and if we um, separate these two um, coordinates we'll have negative 2 and then 4 plus 5 is 9 so that's negative 2 um, comma 9 and the other coordinate would be at negative 2 comma 4 minus 5 which is negative 1 and these will be our coordinates for our vertices and in fact that's the one that we got right so that's negative 2 comma 9 right that's the um, vertices um, I mean the vertex and we also have negative 2 comma negative 1 right there okay so if it's hard to identify based on the graph uh, the uh, coordinates of the vertices covertices and the foci then you can use these formulas okay so that's it for this video see you in the next one